Yes, I actually scheduled this live. Um, so if people want to hop in and wait for me. But I decided to, every year since I've been on here, I've decided to do something freaking crazy like I normally do. I'm the only dental wearer that does that because I mean I'm crazy. So I decided to do um, Denture Palooza for the weekend to celebrate going into fall and ending uh, the last thing of summer. So it's going to be all weekend long of like my favorite freaking products. Um, like nonstop. Whether it's going to be my videos, whether I'm going to be doing random freaking lives on here on Heather B. Denture Diva on Facebook. So make sure you guys follow me on Facebook so you can enter all the giveaways so you have a higher chance of winning. But make sure you guys comment to let me know that you're here. Hey, Bob and Jennifer, how you guys doing? Darnisha, Marlene. I like to, not for nothing, like I always did my giveaways at night. Did I like it? No. I think after two years I started to, it's hard to cram because when you're a parent, a lot of things happen at night. For all my parents out there know that. Not only just bedtime and homework and dinner, it's just a freaking chaos. And a lot of my morning people that are busy at nighttime or go to bed early could go to work or whatever. Hey, Holly. Hey, Kathy. Um, Wolf, not going to say your whole thing because I'm probably going to screw it up. Stevie, if I'm saying that right. Um, but I wanted to do morning ones. I'm going to be doing them all different hours through this whole entire weekend. Um, so created by me, Heather Reed Denture Diva brings you Denture Palooza. And I've contacted quite a few companies to get in on this and to start giving stuff away. So, got a lot of leeway from some companies. <laughs> Thanks, Marlene. Yeah, I hate wearing my hair down. Actually, my hair is down on my butt. Actually, when I'm in the shower, it's past my butt. But I do have my hair down somewhat. It's kind of a froey mess today. But, yeah. Wearing my hair in a ponytail today instead of my mom bun game. Even though that does make my life a little easier. Shireen. Now mama, what's up? I'm glad to see a lot of you guys here today. Um, hey Amy. But there's just so much chaos going on in my life right now. Oh, for a lot of people, you that guys that asked me real quick, um, me and Thomas... I had to go yesterday to Albany because that's where a lot of our appointments are for doctors. Um, we saw his rheumatologist. He was put on a new medication for his autoimmune disease. He has ankylosing spotlitis and juvenile RA. So they want to keep it at bay. So he's going to be on medication to keep it there. Um, out of all the meds probably for autoimmune, this is the least amount of bad that can happen. But just keep an eye on him. Hopefully it works. We see her in two months um, to reassess. Thank you, Nancy. But I had my doctors today because I think I just put too much hair products in my hair. But right going into my ear was like a pimple sort of thing, but it was like swollen. Like I couldn't even hear. It's gotten way better now. Just putting warm compresses and peroxiding inside my ear. It actually went away basically almost on its own, but I have to pick up eardrops just to make sure nothing happens. Because when you're an autoimmune disaster, like gigantic disaster, um, bad things happen to me all the time. Yes, Bobby. TGIF. Thank goodness it's Friday. <laughs> um, my husband actually gave me an early Christmas present. First of all, we're Christmasaholics here. Okay, it's me. I'm the addict to Christmas. And you guys will see that when you see all my fun stuff I already have planned. But he got me Friends Monopoly. So I can't wait to play that. I have every Monopoly. Even Pokemon Monopoly for the kids. But I have Gettysburg Monopoly because I'm a huge history person. Like, I have every Monopoly you can think of. It's sad. Oh, and because I've been breaking my feet at random this summer, this summer was a mess. Um, one of my followers who became one of my close friends, Brittany, she got me one of these scooters. And she's right. This shit goes crazy. But I've always wanted one because I'm a mess and I constantly break my feet all the time just by walking so shout out to Brittany for getting me that because that thing's fun <laughs> it really is she's right on the turns be gentle with the turns because you'll go flying it goes this way that goes that way 
So part of this giveaway thing, guys, is I wanted to bring, I always do this. I want to bring back to the community. Before I became a denture YouTuber, I've noticed the community is kind of stagnant. It wasn't a lot going on, I'm going to tell you that much. So I pretty much bum-rushed the denture community <laughs> uh, full force, and I created a gigantic support thing within YouTube, within Facebook, and so many aspects, because I don't want people to think, just because we have dentures, it's a negative, or it's dreary, or it's all these bad things. It's really not. It's not as bad as people make it out to be, so I try to bring it as much positive as I can. And if, within my means, I could do giveaways on my own, but luckily I was able to get some companies to work with me on this Palooza of mine. Hey fellas! So, I'm going to explain to you guys the whole weekend first off. So please, please, for the love of Jesus, if you don't want to miss the giveaways, make sure your YouTube bell is on. When you hit subscribe, first of all, all this is for my subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed, your bell is on. So you want to click the bell, and you because it will automatically be at highlights. And that means you miss everything. So click your bell and click all. Now you want to check this, even though you think you did it a year ago or six months ago, do it again. Because even places that I'm subscribed to totally took me off. And I don't know why that happens. So make sure your bell is on and you click all. So you get all my notifications the second it happens. Also, Heather Redenture Diva on Facebook. Um, I'm not really doing stuff for Instagram this one. Um, because I don't know how many people are on there with Instagram that would be interested. But I'm doing it on Heather Redenture Diva on Facebook. So make sure wherever the notification thing is for that, your notifications are on because you don't want to miss it. Now I'm going to hide this stuff in my videos. I'm going to hide it everywhere, kind of. I'm doing like sporadic lives too out of nowhere. So it's for people that even if people can't get on this one, I'll have another one. Either tonight it's tomorrow morning or then it's going to be at random, totally at random. Whenever I can pop on and do a live, that's when I'll be doing it or videos that I'm dropping. If it's in a video, guys, please make sure you follow exactly. First of all, one, you have to watch the video fully through. Skimming it, looking for the giveaway, you automatically don't get in. Because face, uh, YouTube and Facebook both tell me how, how much of the video people watch. So people skim, that means they've only, I've seen people only watch five minutes and like 16 seconds. And I go on, they enter the giveaway, I'm like, yeah, you're disqualified. You have to watch it fully through. Absolutely fully through. Um, one, so you don't miss anything, two, to actually get information that you might actually need later on in the denture journey. But, I'll give you guys specific details on how to enter the giveaway, so I can keep it organized, so, because when I add it to my email, when I do it to my email, I want to make sure everybody's up in there, and in the right category and subject. So, I try to get everybody included. Hey, Mary. So, how has everybody's denture life has been? What products have you guys tried? Because I don't know what people have tried, what people haven't, what people have done. I think I've tried every denture product. Everything in the stores I've tried. And I've done so many reviews. It's insane. It's insane. So many how-to videos. Like, guys, I have 100 and, nope, lied, 720 something videos now. In the last two and a half, three years, which the first year I did like three videos a day. So, yeah. You start to run out of things to talk about. I'm not going to lie. Bobby, that, that was my mix. When I was using adhesive, exactly what you're doing is what I did. Fix it in Ultramax. If you do correctly, if you apply adhesive correctly. So, I tell people, just put the adhesive in your denture. Take a Q-tip, lick it so the cotton doesn't get on your thing, and just smear it around in a thin coat. One that controls no oozing that's going to come out your mouth. Um, so it controls the amount. It doesn't make it too thick. Because the more adhesive you put in your mouth, the longer it's going to take to dry. Um, so you put it on your denture walls. It's not just dead center trough. You want it on your thin coat on your denture walls, in the trough, on the palate if it's your top denture. A thin coat that when you put it in your mouth, in the right spot, wait about 45 minutes to an hour-ish before you eat or drink, and you'll be good. <laughs> you know, when you get your perms, it's funny, because I have a video for that. I got my perms, and man, was I annoyed. Because with your top denture, it's the same size as when you had your real teeth in. So it's huge. Your permanent denture can fit inside your immediate denture. 
and with space. So, yes, Bobby, absolutely you could do that. Absolutely. You could do it on your whole denture wall and inside the trough. But... It only took maybe about a couple days to get used to when you get your permanent denture. It's nothing like when you get immediate. Um, because you already know how to eat and do all that with a permanent denture. But you have to understand you do have gum shrinkage still. Especially in the beginning with your permanent denture. Do not get permanent denture sooner. Unless you have Medicaid and you don't have a choice. And you get it at three months. You have no choice. But do not get your permanent denture. If you can help it. Until one year after extractions. Because if you get it at six months. It's going to be the same bigness as it was for the first six months. So the first year is just such a dramatic change. <laughs> Kathy. Girl, you're more prepared than I was. <laughs> you got to understand, there wasn't much going on in the community when I got my dentures. And the support group I was in was a bunch of a-holes. Even one of the admins. Like, they were, how are you a support group and you're not supportive? So I had to learn everything myself. So a lot of my mistakes has been everybody else's gain because I've made the mistakes for everyone else. And then I figured out what works. Like, no dentist. I've had so many emails from dentists. Dentists, companies, were like, we had no idea it needs drying time. And I'm like, you guys didn't think it's a glue? It's a glue. It needs drying time. Or it's going to be some mushy mess moving all over your face. So when you put an adhesive in, you absolutely have to wait 45 minutes to an hour to let those babies dry. Or you're going to have water coming in, melting your adhesive. It'll pop out in like a couple of hours. It'll be dried crooked like it's done to me a couple of times when I first started. So the drying time is an essential. It, it is for, your, for using adhesive. Well, when it comes to relines, if you go to the dentist and get them done, I'm going to be legit real with you. They are not good at them. They don't have dentures. They have no idea what they're doing. So they might know how to use the products. So say you have your denture, right? And they just blob the stuff in there, put it in your mouth, send you on your way. Okay, so what happens if you had this side out already? And you had these on six months later. That means this side's going to need more soft reline than that side. And it's really down to a science, is really what it is. So for the first year, you need to do a soft reline once a month. You have to. So if you have a warranty, you have to make sure you have unlimited access to soft relines. I've seen most people warranties like they're allowed to. I'm like, what the hell is that going to do? Because you need soft relines for adhesive to work. If your denture is too loose and you're using adhesive, Adhesive's not going to work because that's too much space for water to come in and melt it all completely out. So you absolutely, absolutely need to get soft relines. What's up, anime? How's it going? Haha, -ha, Bobby, wait and see for that one too. Um, sorry guys, I'm just trying to read everybody's stuff. Oh, Phyllis, you're way ahead of the game than I was. Guys, I was not prepared. But how are you supposed to be prepared if you have no idea? Like, I didn't know what a soft reline or hard reline was. That's why I make these videos. Because I want everybody to have the information way more than I did. I don't want anybody to go through what I went through in any way, if I can help it. Somebody messages me, I always answer to them. Even though it might not be immediately that second, because I do answer other people. I have a family, I have a life, I got things to do. But I, that day, I answer people. Um, so I do the best that I can to help others because nobody should suffer. Nobody should go into this blindsided. So giving everybody the full factual information. Like my video I just put up about... Um, crap, what the hell is that video called? It's like on the tip of my tongue and I can't even think of it. I hate when that happens. Um, it's when they smoothen out your bone and stuff. And I'm trying to think of it and I can't remember. Um, I literally listed my last video I just put up when people say, hey, do I need to get this done? No. It's dentists say, oh, during extractions, we're going to do, oh, avioplasty. We're going to do avioplasty, smoothing out your, you know, your gums and stuff and your bone for dentures. Not necessary. If you have implants, a medical reason to need to, like cleft palate, stuff like that, you know, it's majorly done by implants. Or if, like, your bone is shredded, like when I broke my jaw and they pulled out my tooth on this side, 
um, then I needed it. They had to. You know, you don't have a choice at that point. But when you first get dentures, you don't because your body naturally does it. For the first year, like, don't spend the money, guys. It's not needed. Your body does it. For the first year, your gum shrink and bone and all that, and it goes in a year, you'll see a big difference, and it'll be like a thin, you know, row, bottom and top. But dentists are like, oh, you should get this done. You absolutely do not need to get avioplasty done unless medically necessary or for implants, so forth. But for the average person just getting regular dentures, you absolutely do not need to, so save your money. Kathy, was your handout just like, hey, for, you know, three days, don't smoke cigarettes and don't suck on straws and use ibuprofen and ice packs? Yeah, that's a normal extraction sheet. Um, they don't really do anything for it. I don't, thank you, Ann. I wish I saw that prior. But yeah, avioplasty. And I'm like, guys, you really don't need to get that done. Well, Medicaid... Uh, well, if Medicaid doesn't cover crap. I think there's one state where Medicaid will cover for permanent dentures only. Like, they don't give immediates out. It's permanent dentures only, all Medicaid, and every state does that. And you get it at your second or third month. Um, I tell people, if you get Medicaid and you get your permanent denture at the second or third month, make sure you're saving up your money for when a year hits, you get that hard root line. That is a permanent solution to fix the extra gum shrinkage to start you over with like a brand new denture is basically what it is um well fitting wise not actual denture but when it comes to permanent dentures uh for medicaid it's not immediate so immediate dentures you get to only pick you don't even get to pick your teeth or nothing because you don't have a wax shrine you don't have any of that you only get to pick your color so when it comes to Medicaid, it's the same thing as regular people with permanent dentures. And I don't know why people think, because I have Medicaid too, guys. I don't know why people think, because you have Medicaid, you get a different low-grade denture. No, you don't. It's the same denture as everybody else would get. It's just paid by Medicaid. Just like if you were to have Delta insurance or whatever insurance company, it's only paid for the, by that company. You don't get a lower grade because of it. That is not the case at all. Um, obviously, because mine... So, um, my permanent dentures are Medicaid. My mediates, I pay for myself gradually in payments, but Medicaid don't cover crap. They don't. You could try to put in for it, but you don't have a warranty. So if you have a warranty, you're guaranteed to do it. You don't need to put in for anything. You don't need to do any of that. You can, um, try to put in for it. And if your Medicaid person is in a great mood, they might approve it, but 85% of the time they do not. So Medicaid does not have a warranty at all. Yeah, Nancy, so do I. Medicare doesn't cover my dental, though. That's Medicaid. Jennifer, how long have you been in extractions? Like, how many months or year has it been since you got extractions done? Oh, and that's like that for everybody. I'll show you mine. You're about to get up in my business. I have a very, very thin trough, but I don't need adhesive. Phyllis, I'm on disability too. I'm a terminal patient with nine autoimmune diseases. Morgan, I got to say most of them are awful, I'm not going to lie. My dentist is the only Medi Medicaid dentist in this area. He's a kick-ass Jamaican doctor. I love him to death. He actually calms people's nerves when they're anxiety. Like, he's just a great freaking dentist. But um, he handles all my stuff, everything. Um, except when they do dentures and all of that, it does get sent out to a denture company, the big denture company in California that handles dentures, and they made mine. Oh, so you just got this. Yeah, 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 Jen. So you're exactly what I'm talking about. So with Medicaid, after about three months-ish, they'll start the process of permanent dentures. Girl, save money. Seriously, I'm not even kidding. Save money for exactly next June 
for you to do a hard reline because that'll start you off fresh and then you'll be good to go for the next seven years until you get a new denture. But the process of permanent dentures for Medicaid is the same process for everybody else for permanent dentures. You know, they do the bite uh, wax molds, they do the line up, they do the freaking wax try on. I'm like trying to get the words out. The wax try on in. Now, during the wax try on, I'm going to tell everybody this now. Always, if it doesn't fit right, if it's loose, tell them. If you don't like the teeth and you want this side a little bit bigger, you want this side, like the canines, a little pointier, tell them. You don't like the color, it's too bright and white, and like you could see you down the freaking damn road, tell them to change it. B1 is honestly the best natural white color. Um, it looks normal. Mine, believe it or not, are B2. And they look white as hell, but they look white as hell because of lipstick. So lipstick is bright as hell, so it makes it pop even more. But if you look at all my other normal pictures, <laughs> um, they're normal white. So people think they're real and natural teeth. It is a jeopardy if you get the brightest and whitest. Some people love doing that because it's a Hollywood bright ass smile. But we all know Hollywood teeth are fake. They're all veneers and implants. And even Ben Affleck had dentures before he got implants. He had dentures for like seven years. Um, but you definitely make sure you tell the dentist what you want when you're doing your wax try on. If you don't like the teeth, say something. Always be your best own advocate because once you say it's good, permanent, it's it's a done deal. But I always tell everybody, make sure you take pictures. And I'm not, this is going to save you a lot. Take pictures of your wax try-on in your mouth when you smile. And you, because you want to make sure when the mid-light's done, but you want these pictures. You also want to take pictures of them out of your mouth in details. Why? Because when they come back and they don't look like that, and the midline is off, and the bite is off, and all this is off, you have proof that what you agreed to was exactly what you wanted and it's not what they gave you. Always back yourself up and protect yourself because you would not believe how many people get screwed over. It's a lot of people. But best products, guys, I'm going to be real with you. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I make no money off of YouTube unless people were to donate money, like in the super chats and stuff, like in the lives or... You know, you can donate money to a certain video I did. Unless people donate money, which doesn't really happen, but I don't get anything off YouTube. I do this because I just want to help people. So when I ask company, companies if they want to go in with me on giveaways, I don't work with them. Um, I don't gain crap. Um, Dr. B did give me my own um, coupon code because I do have so many people that order. Um... It's, oh, that's a new coupon code. You guys should need to know. It's actually, it went, it went to say 15. That changed. It's now HB18. So you get 18% off your order. So definitely write that down. So it's my first and last name initials. HB18. Um, and I'll put the link in here somewhere. Oh, thanks, Bobby. I just want to help people, you know? It's. I've suffered a lot in my life and I don't want people to go through what I went through and people always say well Heather these are strangers why do you care I'm like just because I don't actually know them doesn't mean I shouldn't care I know what it's like to be in their shoes I know all of it so why not help somebody I don't know why not you know it starts with one person making a difference to everybody else to follow suit and make a difference Yes, Morgan. Oh my God, I have to do so many horse mouth videos and monkey mouth. They're called two different things. I mean the same. But it goes away. Don't freak out. I remember I didn't freak out when it first happened to me, though. I was like, why do I look like a Dr. Seuss character? But it goes away. Within a month, it's like gone or two months. It really depends on how slow your shrinkage is. But some people, it's gone in two weeks. Some people, it's gone in a month. You know, it just depends. But it goes away. If you keep trimming and adjusting your denture, making it disappear before it naturally happens, you now took away the fullness that was part of your mouth to not lose your lip and not lose the fluffiness. So now you're going to push it all the way back and now your face is going to look sunken in. So please don't do that. Let your body know. Guys, patience is a virtue with this process. You need to have patience. 
it will, everything will naturally be on its own and fix itself. Like I tell people, never, ever, ever do an adjustment inside the trough. So many dentists screwed it up. My dentist did that. I was like, bro, you just made it looser. I didn't want that. It's when you, things are digging in, it's the denture wall. So it's just the outer perimeter of the denture. And I'm like, just adjust there. That's it. Don't go in the trough because my gum's shrinking off. I don't need you making it worse. So always make sure they know that before they touch your denture. Yeah, totally, Jen. If you don't like the color, dur only during your wax try on, not after. Um, I always brought a notebook with me. Uh, listen, I'm precise. I've been screwed over too many times in my life. So, originally, I love B1. B1 is a beautiful color on your teeth, man. It's such a natural white. It, it's just, it's not overpowering. Um, but, you know... I went to B1 for my mediates to blend with my real bottom teeth. But B2 was more of a closer color um, for my natural teeth. So I was like, whatever, I'll just do B2 to make it look natural. Then I had to get my bottom teeth out, which really pissed me off because I would have sucked to B1. So now these are B2. Um, what I do, because I'm getting my permanents like next week for these, um, which I'll do a video for that, of course. But... When I get all these done again and I get new dentures, well, I think it's like five more, year, four more years for these, and then obviously seven for this. I'm going full on B1. Originally, I was going to try really super bright white, but I mean, come on, man, look at my lipstick to B2. Shit's going to be like aliens can see that crap. So <laughs> I think I'm going to stick to B1. Oh, I have a lot on bone loss. Um, first of all, bone loss is common, it's going to happen. But you're more susceptible to bone loss. Listen, wearing your dentures is a necessity. I've seen so many people not wear their denture for 15 years and they email me and say, what can I do? And I said, well, you're going to have to do bone grafting if you want to wear a denture. But they needed so much bone grafting that it was just pointless. So they couldn't wear a denture anymore, ever. They didn't want to wear it. So now when they wanted to, they had no bone left. Wearing a denture is necessary. Please wear your damn denture, guys. I got to get that on a logo or cup or something. Wear your damn denture wear it but <laughs> um hold on i want to losing my train of thought because it's me so bone loss can happen like with autoimmune diseases like me you're on chemo medication for cancer that will cause more bone loss you know don't do avioplasty unless you need to just wear dentures you don't need to but implants and stuff if you do avioplasty they're speeding up that process taking away a lot of your bone and then your bones are still going to shrink and do all that. So don't do that. It's like screwing yourself over. I've heard so many stories. It's been ridiculous. Hey, Tabitha. Yes, and there it is. Um, I've, there's an app. <laughs> I did this video I showed you guys last year that there's actually a denture app where you can see all the colors and see how it looks and stuff. I'll find it again, and I'll do a quick video just so you guys can know where to go to do that. So have no fear. I'll find it. Hopefully if they still have it. But all the colors are universal. All of them. Now if you do Hollywood super bright. I'm trying to explain how white that is. It is whiter than paper. I always tell people. If you don't want people staring at you. Or wondering if it's real or whatever. Just get a natural color. Just get B1, B2. Uh, B2 is like a smidge darker but. B1 in my eyes because I mean I've checked every single damn color and I went over it and it really goes by skin color too guys by your complexion because you can get the brightest whitest Hollywood color but if you're like a really white person super pale um like my sister's but super pale as hell I have olive skin color so my olive skin with B1 makes it look brighter so the tanner you are don't do Hollywood bright because that shit's gonna be bold <laughs> like you have no idea yeah and just do b1 you'll see it it's a beautiful color i loved it when i first saw it i'm like i want it and he goes well, let's see how match he goes it matches great with your complexion it's perfect um i'm italian you know and brazilian and irish but i have a really olive skin deep color like right now i have my ring lights on so you should just look pale but normally i'm olive colored
Uh, Tabitha, let me ask you a question. Is your denture loose? A lot of people say, listen, there's, there's one reason why people can't eat. If your denture is tight in place and that shit don't budge, you will have no problem eating. It all boils down to security of the denture. If your denture is loose, even a smidge, it will mess up your eating, it'll mess up your bite, it'll cause problems. Because when it comes to chewing and making sure you thoroughly chew, your tongue, you can use your tongue and be like, all right, I finished chewing, okay, now I can swallow. But it really is tightness of the denture. If your denture is moving and loose and, and YOLOing itself, then there's your problem to eating. It's always security of denture. And I've tried tested this out myself many times. When your denture is tight in place, that's why I tell people, soft reline, fix it in Ultramax. That shit won't come out. I still get emails saying, Heather, I can't get my denture out. Can you help me? Absolutely. I even have tricks for that too. Um, Because that's happened to me many times. I couldn't get it out. I was like, um, do I just leave it in here because it doesn't want to come out? <laughs> so stuck. But... If it's tight and that thing ain't moving for shit, no matter what you do, then you will be able to eat like you would with your normal teeth. Hey, Cece. Oh, thanks, Jen. I'm glad I can help. Okay, Tabitha, great example. They rock. That's why you're having a problem eating. Once you hold those babies in place, you're good. So the rocking means you need a soft reline home slice. So if you have a warranty on your denture, your dentist has to do it. If you don't, denture fit. It's a godsend. You know what's great about denture fit, guys? When I first tried it with my top immediate, it's like, hey, you want to try it? And I was like, sure, why not? I got nothing better to do. I just do a video and do a review on it. If it's not good, it's not good. I'm always honest, regardless. And I give details and I show you guys me putting it in. Like, I'm very to the T with my reviews. I don't just sit on camera and tell you my review for it. I actually show you and demonstrate. So when I tried denture fit, I didn't feel my denture at all in my mouth. It was great. So great. So when you don't feel your denture in your mouth, you feel normal again. And it had such great suction that I just used powder adhesive at that point. And my denture just didn't move. It feels like your gums are in a cloud. It's epic. I recommend it to everybody. It's, I tried every soft reline. This doesn't have chemicals in it. It's just silicone soft reliner. It's like how um, the suction cups to the windows for decorations and stuff. Old school people would know that. Um, it's the same concept. Your saliva works with the silicone and suctions those babies right up. And extremely comfortable. I tell people, screw the suction. I do it just for the comfort. Because I hate the feeling of hard acrylic on my mouth. It is so uncomfortable, and it's hard not to not think of it if it's so uncomfortable. But you have to get a soft reline once a month in immediate. It's your one month out of extractions, so you could get a soft reline right now. If you have a warranty, you can get it from your dentist. If you don't, again, denture fit. Then if, you know, because with immediate, your gums are just nonstop shrinking. So you can use adhesive, fix it on Ultramax. Like I said, like a Q-tip, make a thin layer through the hole inside of the denture, Every bit, nook and cranny of the inside of the denture, the denture walls, trough, palate, all of it, put in your mouth, wait an hour, bet anything, those don't move. Then you can eat whatever you want. That's why you see all these people that say, oh, I can eat whatever I want after a month like I could. It's because security of denture. If they don't move, you can just eat whatever the hell you want and nothing budges. It is amazing. Tabitha, call them up. Some, most dentists don't say shit. I'm going to be real with you. They don't tell you what to expect. They don't tell you if you have a warranty. I see that all the time. They don't say anything. So call up and say, hey, I need to know if I have a warranty on my denture because I need a soft reline. And if I don't, I could do myself and I'll do denture fit. It's cheaper to do denture fit than it is to pay out of pocket for a dentist one. The dentist one is chemical based. It burns your gums. It tastes like a nail salon. Jesus. It's gross. Oh, that's easy. Okay, so anime, the reason why that's happening is because your mouth, when you first wear dentures, immediate dentures, it didn't last maybe two weeks or me, but if you wear your dentures all the time, which you all should be, um, if you wear your dentures all the time, that goes away in two weeks, the extra salivation stuff. Because your body thinks it's food, and it's like, break it down, break it down. 
until your brain connects and be like, oh yeah, it's acrylic, I can't, duh. So your body thinks it's food and it's just trying to break it down. So you're extra salivating, but you have got to keep it in your mouth all the time. Take it out only when sleeping and wear it all the time and that will go away. And then you'll get dry mouth like the rest of us. <laughs> hey, Tammy. Yeah, Bobby, absolutely. You could buy a soft reline kit anywhere. If you don't have a warranty, if you have a warranty, if you do your own work, you're going to void it. And then you, if you break your denture, you're SOL, shall we say. So if you don't have a warranty, absolutely. There's denture, uh, soft reline kits with denture fit. You can get, reline is the cheapest, but it sucks. I'm going to be real with you. It sucks. It's a bitch to take out. It's exactly what the dentists have, but for five bucks. Um, keep it in the freezer for two days. You'll be able to move quickly. But remember, when you guys mix soft reliner stuff, move quickly. You got to move quickly. Luckily, with denture fit, it's in a tube already, and you just squirt it in your denture, basically. But you can get denture fit. You can get reliner. Do not do Permasoft. Permasoft is garbage. Please don't do that. So if they did one, okay, here, like I told you guys earlier, Tabitha, I don't know if you were in here yet. Um, when dentists do self realize they just throw the shit in there, put it in your mouth, tell you to take it out, good, and send you on your way. They don't actually do details. Um, when you do a soft reliner, whether you're at the dentist or doing it yourself, enough material means when it's coming over the top of your denture or over the bottom part of the denture. It's supposed to go over the denture wall a little bit. That's how you know they've put enough in it. If that didn't happen in the whole denture part, then they didn't put enough soft reline in. That's how you always know. <gasps> no! Darn Nisha. Is there a medical reason or are they just doing it for shits and giggles? Don't do avioplasty. Don't. I'm going to stress that. Unless you medically need it. Medically. Not because they want to to make your denture life better when it doesn't ever make somebody's life better. Unless it's a medical reason for it. They do not have to do it. It's just more expensive on you and they get more money for something that your body naturally does. So please do not do it unless it's medically necessary. Like cleft palate, broken jaw, implants, shit like that. Alright, so I've waited long enough. Hello to the people joining my giveaway. So this is for US and Canada. So if my Canadian people are up in here, home slices, you're allowed to come into this giveaway. So... I have a certain range of amount of kits I'm going to give away. I'm obviously not going to give them all away right now. I have all weekend. Plus, I have another shit to give away. So, there's a bunch of stuff going to be happening this weekend. So, right now, I'm giving away two. One kit per person. So, two people will get one kit each of the Dr. B line. So, that means you'll get the adhesive, liquid crystals, cleaning up wipes, cleaning up paste, sonic cleaner. Yes, you get the sonic cleaner. And the toothbrush, I believe. And so it's going to be for two people I'm going to choose. One kit per person. And whoever wins has got to email me. You have to email me and say, first live giveaway. And you give me your full name and full address. Not in here. <laughs> full name, full address. And your phone number and your email in one email. Because then I copy and paste and send it to the companies. So, let's get started, my homies. Um, how do I want to do this? We'll go by this. So, um, yeah, they do include batteries uh, to the sonic cleaner as well. And even if you have Dr. B stuff, you can still get in on it, guys. So get in on it. I don't care. So U.S. and Canada only. Um, one entry per person, please. Put USA, if you're from USA, in the comments. So you want to comment USA if you're from USA or Canada if you're from Canada. And that's your entry into the giveaway. So say Darnisha is entering the giveaway. She puts USA in the comment and hits send. It's one entry per person. Let's get it going. I give you guys about three minutes. Thanks, Tabitha. 
Well, if you want to get in on it, girl, get in on it. Hey, Christina, I haven't seen you in a minute. Ooh, you're still a member. So, real quick, while all you guys... No, I'll put my email up there, Wendy. Don't don't sweat it. you got to enter the giveaway first before that even happens. Um, so, all my members that are... If you... After you subscribe my channel and you click join and you join the membership, you guys are getting your own separate kick-ass giveaways this weekend. So, it's going to be double the dipping. So, enjoy to that. Remember, one entry per person. And even if you don't get it this time, guys, because everybody cannot win all the time, um, I'm doing giveaways constantly all weekend long. So even if I wanted to do another one in an hour from now, make sure your bell is on and you clicked all or you're going to be SOL. So I want you guys to get on the giveaway. So get in on it. And my videos. I'm going to be dropping videos every single day. So I'm going to be adding giveaways in there too. So make sure you guys do that too as well. So remember, one entry per person. Um, and put USA if you're from USA, Canada if you're from Canada. But remember, it's for USA or Canada only. Mm -hmm. I'm just scanning through everything, guys. I like to make sure I didn't miss anything. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a total bomb giveaway, guys. I'm not going to lie. Because you get their adhesive, which is all natural. And essential oils. By the way, it healed my mouth sores amazingly. When I was using it for my bottom, when I was healing. Um... You get the Clinidem paste, which you can use in your mouth and denture. The only denture product in the universe you can use in your mouth and denture is the denture paste and is Clinidem wipes. So that's amazing. Sonic cleaner, brush, you guys get all the goods, the entire line. So make sure you guys get in on this. And this is the, it's not the only kits I'm giving away either. I have way other ones more to give away too. Remember, I'm going to say this one more time. If you're entering the giveaway, just put USA if you're from USA or Canada if you're from Canada. That's it. It's the only way to enter this giveaway. So don't put, yes, I'm entering the giveaway. Just put if USA if you're from USA or Canada if you're from Canada. Damn, Christina. I'm sorry, girl. Hopefully it helps someone makes it better for you. There's so many people suffering right now. That's why I try to add some little sunshine to people's parades. Okay. I'm going to say this one more time. Guys, stop saying I'm going to enter this giveaway. That's not how to enter. Like I said, to enter this giveaway... Comment USA if you're from USA. If you're from Canada, you type in Canada. That's all you do to enter. You will be in my prayers, Christina. I'll probably message you to check on you too as well. So, Pamela, if you want to enter the giveaway, if you're from USA, put USA. If you're from Canada, put Canada. Because it takes away, because other people ask some questions about dentures. So, if you're doing things about asking questions that I won't be able to pick the people, USA and Canada stands out, so I know who to do. So, just type in USA if you're from USA, Canada if you're from Canada. That's how to enter the giveaway. Ooh, I think I had another company contact me, too. Awesome. Another company just contacted me saying they're in on my Palooza, which I'm so excited because so many of you are going to freak the freak out when I tell you what I'm giving away next one. Oh, it's going to be exciting. Mm -hmm. Oh, exciting. And I get so excited, I hopefully I don't, like... Remember, one entry per person, guys. I feel like nobody likes to listen to my rules. <laughs> One entry per person. One entry. USA or Canada. Wherever you're from, put that in.
Maury, what do you mean? Like, when you have bad teeth before you get extractions, you get super ill and sick? Well, you have to understand, and even my son's cardiologist said this, my autoimmune doctors say this, if you have bad teeth, it can affect your health and your heart. It actually can cause an infection in your heart. And if you have bad illnesses and stuff, it can definitely affect your teeth. So, yes, you can absolutely get many other health problems with having super bad teeth. That's why I tell people, if they're infected, take them out. You need to, because shit spreads, bro, and that's going to be a bad day. Or month. I'm going to give you guys one more minute, and then I'm stopping it, and I'm going to pick somebody at random. I tell people all the time, you know, everybody's scared of doing something the unknown. But honestly, everything starts out to be the unknown. Whether you're going to college for the first time, you have kids for the first time, you get married for the first time, you know, you become an adult and you have to pay bills for the first time. Everything is always out to be the first time. So I always tell people what you have to do is push through it because then you start to get used to it. And then you start to perfect what you're doing. So dentures could be scary in the beginning, even though surgery is a breeze, but it's people's anxiety and stress is through the roof in the beginning but as you do it you get stronger the more you practice the more you get better practice is what makes close to damn perfect so to master something you gotta like give it everything you got hey star oh look at you see you're on the ball i didn't even have to tell her she's been on here for forever she knows oh heather's library right? usa <laughs> Don't have to tell you twice. Absolutely. Okay, Morgan. So I have nine diseases of autoimmune world. Sucks. But it depends on what autoimmune. So say you have Strogren's. Strogren's is a milder autoimmune disease, but it causes dry everything. Everything. So with when you have no saliva in your mouth, you guys got to understand having saliva in your mouth is a necessity. When you have real teeth because it actually pushes out bad bacteria and it just flows it and you have better health flora flow kind of thing so if you have dry mouth that keeps all the bacteria sitting stagnant and it just eats at your teeth until they fall out not so quickly harshed i'm very blunt sorry but <laughs> yes some autoimmune diseases can actually absolutely affect it if you have a vitamin d deficiency absolutely can start breaking your teeth you know, if you have a calcium deficiency, if you overdo calcium, you can get kidney stones, for God's sakes. If you eat a lot of cheese, you can cause kidney stones. You know, a lot of things affect everything. Yeah, when I got my teeth out, my sinuses were better. I still have a cyst that when a dentist screwed up many, many years ago, instead of him doing a root canal, he actually covered the, the infection. It was awful. So I have a cyst over here. So I actually have to get that removed. And they can do that now easily since I have dentures. So I just have to go to Albany, go see the ear, nose, and throat doctor. Him, um, I, they have to rebuild my sinuses because of it. So it's going to be a pain. All right, guys, I'm going to pick two people. Now, each person, please follow along. Please. <laughs> right, Morgan? I know, I can breathe a lot better now. All right, I got to scroll up. So I'm going to pick two. Where did I go? Where did I start? Oh, over here. So I'm going to pick two. Nope, over there. So I'm going to pick two people and each person, as long as they follow the directions, because I can't send it to you if I don't know where the hell you live. But <laughs> each person will get the entire Dr. B line. And I do have way other kits to give away, guys, through this entire weekend. I'm going to be even giving away one of my favorite things in the world because that they're with me along with that. Um, and I'm sure some of you guys know what I'm talking about. It is something I rarely give away, maybe once every four or five months, six months maybe. Um, and they're in on two with me. So this is actually going to be pretty freaking cool. Let's see. Oh, I got to pick numbers first. I do numbers in my head, and then I go counting people. So we'll go with... I don't know. We'll see if I even have that many on here. Oh, and by the way, I have to recount now. If anybody's done it more than once, when I specifically said one entry per person, I'm only counting your first entry. Oh, 
Oh, cool. So the first one is Tabitha. Tabitha plays in a second. Congratulations, by the way. You are one of the winners. Um, give me one second. I'll give you my email. And Phyllis. Okay. So, I, congratulations, Phyllis and Tabitha. You guys get to win Dr. B's denture uh, kits, which is super freaking exciting, and I can't wait. Everybody should automatically order liquid crystals and his denture paste. It's the only product um, that kills as much bad bacteria as it does. So, shout out to Dr. B, because your shit's awesome. So, you want to email me. I do not have my thing on me right... Ooh, can I type? Are they going to let me type? Hold on. Sometimes they let me type, sometimes they don't. And sometimes they don't, and it sucks. No, of course not. Okay, so, I'm going to write it in here. If somebody can please type this in for me, I would truly appreciate it. Because I can't type it in. I don't have my computer on me right now to type this in. Plus, in every single video I have, if you go into the description of the video, is my email. It's always in there. So, the hour next to the title of every video has my email. So, my email is b y r n e s one two two three at gmail.com and i'm going to say it again so for tabitha hold on for tabitha and phyllis you're welcome um that one please 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 make sure you email me or you can private message me. If you're part of the support group, you can absolutely private message me there. Um, but it's B-Y-R-N-E-S-1223 at gmail.com. Um, and put, if it's through my email, put first giveaway um, in the subject. And then make sure you give me all your information. Your full name, your full address as it would be on an envelope. Your email and your phone number because... Um, they can even put you on the direct list where you get coupons and stuff, which is pretty cool. And anybody who wants to order from Dr. B at all, use my coupon code. It gives you 18% off your first time purchase. Actually, it might even be after that, too. I haven't tested it out. But it's HB18. Now, the coupon codes, all coupon codes do not work for Amazon. They just started putting stuff on Amazon, but it's not, the coupon codes do not work. So, you want to order off their website, which is better, drbdentalsolutions.com. And use the code there to get your percentage off. I even have the link in all my descriptions too. Thank you, Anne, for being my assistant. I appreciate it. <laughs> so make sure you two ladies definitely let me, get me, give me all your information and email me. So, remember guys, all weekend long, I'm going to be doing giveaways. I might do another one tonight. Um, I might as well let you guys know I will be doing denture fit giveaways. I will be doing fix and end giveaways, but that's through me. I'll be doing my own specific giveaways. I will be doing Dr. B giveaways, and I'll be doing denture fit giveaways. So do not ever, ever miss out, because that's going to suck. Make sure you guys like this video as well for my live, so other people can see it as well. And all my information in my regular videos, the description of every video is, the link to get to Dr. B's ordering is in there. The coupon code is up in there, my newest videos. So if you guys want the coupon code, HB18, again, and um, the link is in the description of every video, which is the arrow next to the title of every video. But thank you guys for joining. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next lives. Make sure your belt is on. You have clicked all. Do not miss out. And go follow me on Heather B. Denture Diva on Facebook, because I'll be there too. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you soon. Later, guys.